Hey Rahul, as a highly accomplished cybersecurity analyst and skilled bug bounty hunter, Rahul brings a wealth of expertise and real-world experience to the table. His sessions on automation bug bounty workflow promises to empower all uh, for all of us. Let's begin our session. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Let me introduce myself. I'm S. Rahul. Currently working as a cyber security analyst and a bug bounty hunter with two plus years of experience. And like my responsibility is not limited to VAPT or bug bounty. I like uh, I can I have experience in SOC, JRC, GDPR, PCI, DSS, etc. Additionally, I had a certification such as CEH, uh, RSCSA, and ISO as well. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying weekend with lot of bounties and automation. So like today, this session is about the, like how we can find automation, how we can find bugs using automation. Automation means like uh, I'm going to like find bugs, uh, information disclosure, everything, uh, other, al other also. But uh, it is not going to be like uh, not uh, information disclosure. It, it will be around uh, uh, like it will be phone node 3 bypass, open redirect and XSS and uh, 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 user user information disclosure, pi disclosure, etc. Okay. So without wasting our time, let me present my screen. Uh, one minute. Yeah. I hope everyone can see my screen. If you can see it, you can yeah, you can tell in uh, chat. Yeah, you can, everyone can see my screen. Okay. So like uh, before uh, starting our automation, so let's we select a program. So today I'm going with a program called vehicle labs. I think everyone know also. Uh, yeah. Vehicle per quantity. Yeah, this is a program. Today we are going to test, uh, test on uh, the scope is here. So, uh, like before uh, like finding domains the like uh, the main recon process that everyone follows so there's like uh, we, are, we are going to find subdomains using subfinder right by giving gcore labs.com by using httpx and we are going to save on domains dot, domain dot h. okay uh, this is a like uh, uh, it is a good way right we can find it then we will run way back url then we will run uh, and and map or nabu then we will run other like uh, other tools such as uh, http probe or uh, uh, dns resolver or web analyze or web analyzer okay so i am not going to use this subfinder httpx so i will recommend you to use the tool that is called sudomi okay it is a like it is an underrated tool it is not like famous but it is like very good I personally use this and I found uh, uh, it saved my time. It saved my lot of time. And I found like a lot of bugs using uh, this tool because it helped me to like uh, uh, do the things quickly without any like uh, adding commands. So you can directly download it. You can follow, scroll down, just uh, clone the repo and go to here this document, offline user guide. Okay, open this and follow the instruction. It has a detailed uh, installation process okay what you can do you can install it and before after installing what you have to do uh, they have mentioned here as well uh, like after cloning you have to add the keys okay api keys the keys are like showdown api sensors virus total binary edge security details so you have to add the keys uh, everything is everything is explained in the in this document you can you can Follow this process and install it. Okay. So I've already installed in my system and I have also run it. It will take few minutes to like give the results. So I have already run the command. I will show it here. Here you can see. Yeah. I have already cloned this repo and I've installed the process and this is a command. Okay. So like whatever I am like doing, I will I will be saying saving in the document. Okay. Then I will share it. 
so do me command okay this is a command what it will do it will find the domains it will uh, find the open ports it will find the web ac urls it will find uh, dns resolver it will find uh, uh, like what technologies are using by the domain it will find the subdomain takeover it will find uh, uh, there are a lot of things i will uh, i will explain you here you can see uh, why we have to use this tool because find domain subdomain and sublist are limited they are not using uh, they, are, they are using some search engine but they are not using lot of search engines such as here we are using showdown hacker target virus total search spotter binary ads red miner here you can see there are more than 15 i think okay and uh, here you can see i got 99 domains and uh, total domains live domains resolvers i got the ips then uh, it also done i think yeah the status code phone note 3 and it, it shows the open port okay here you can see there are, there are particular ports open on this ip and there is a total juicy url it means like it it has collected all urls from webac url gog okay and there is a five things he extracted interesting parameters path url javascript juicy files he run for like subdomain takeover if there is any subdomain takeover it will notify by using like green color vulnerable and web analyze it will like test for technology as well here you can see this domain is using okay after that it will show like the output is saving this okay okay i think uh, i have run on i paper okay okay currently i am going with i paper okay we can run for uh, gcol labs also it will take lot of time but uh, it, uh, but we don't have time yeah it will take uh, i think around 10 minutes to complete this process so for now i am going with dico i paper .io. Do i paper here you can see Mm, it it also like uh, differentiate all the txt files here you can see it it, it mentions http status type it means it will save all the domain uh, technologies and status code what it is like giving phone or three uh, and the home page okay and ports what ports are open and uh, passive collect url all web ac urls resolvers and web analyze takeovers world list it also create a world list using subdomains and the files uh, first of all we will focus on uh, we, first of all we will go to the interest folder okay there is a folder right and here you can see it is it is already divided into i think six file the one is all path one is doc one is js js means it will contain only js files one is node module it will contain only node module files one is other file and one is param full and one is param unique okay so first of all let's go with the interesting doc okay here you can see there are a lot of urls so for saving the time we we have to not open all the urls what you have to do just to run cat the file name httpx hyphen hyphen status code hyphen hyphen type hyphen title Here you can see uh, it's showing all the files is four node three. Okay, all files are four node three only. There is a no two hundred or accessible file. Okay, let's check. Hmm, grab two hundred. Yeah, there are some files. Let's open it. so what is what is the first bug you have to test it okay uh, after going to this file the first bug is the uh, people will mostly not focus on this bug because it is like not a uh, not a, in highlights okay so what you have to do after like uh, going with all pdfs it is it is none other than pdfs right files you can directly search for pdf as well okay directly use use grab command and give double quotation dot pdf okay suppose we have opened this uh, pdf and uh, we got this pdf file 
in PDF file, there will be a, like company details and uh, social media icons and links. Okay. So what you have to do, we have to check for broken link hijacking in PDFs, not in domains. Mostly in domains, they are like, uh, they are already fixed. There will be no bug. But in PDFs, it might be like a broken link hijacking. Okay. For, for here, there is a no, uh, there is a no public icon, company icon. Okay. Such as uh, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook. Okay. So you have to check for, first issue is check check for broken broken link hijacking on uh, pdf file pdf files okay i'm adding way back url okay this is a valid bug i have reported and i received uh, uh, it was old pdf so i received 50 dollars for this but it is uh, like uh, we can find it within few minutes i think I find around 15 minutes because there is a lot of files. So you can check for this. It is a, like a good issue, good bug. And the other, the other issue is, let's um, let go with node module. Nothing, there is nothing in node module. Let's go with other file. Yeah, here we can see there are a lot of files. So let's run HTTPX hyphen hyphen status code uh, title. I want only 200. Just neglect the robot.txt. They are not going to accept it. Um, nothing interesting. Yeah, I, I found nothing in this file. So let's move on with the JS file. So here, what you have to do for JS file, grab, no, no, let's run. I want only live, right? I will run HTTP Pro and live JS files. What I am doing, I am running HTTP probe on this file, so it will save all the JS file in live JS file .txt. Okay. So what you have to do? Open your bub suit. Open your Firefox. It is automation only, so don't worry. I am not going to go with the manual way. I found uh, this issue, like uh, I will explain what is the issue here. After collecting all the JS file, I saved in live JS file, right? Nothing, what? Cat uh, interesting JS out, CDPX, status code, okay. Not three for not three for not okay. All are forbidden, okay. Okay, there are 200, I think. Crap 200. Mm, yeah. So, what you have to do, you have to collect all the 200 okay uh, files. For suppose I am stopping this uh, like process. Currently I am using, I will show on this, uh, I think uh, 10 only, or this uh, 10 or 20 or 30. So you have to, uh, you have to uh, like, first of all, open on sublime. We, we have to filter it. We have to remove this, uh, find and replace. Yeah. I want to replace all. I want to remove this as well. Replace, replace all. Yeah. The, so what you have to do? You have, you have to open your bub and check all the extensions are extensions are like uh, ready, right? The
the main extension is js miner and js link finder there is some issue with my python file i think so it is not running so you have to like uh, go with js miner and js link finder so what you have to do use multiple uh, open multiple url ex extension open to open all urls in one click here you can see i am opening all the urls and my proxy is not open so let's close it i am closing and i am opening again because my proxy was not open yeah. here you can see in target it is like it will analyze all the all the urls just have to wait it close 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 Mm, scope uh, yeah everything is fine i think yeah it's it it's running it's running yes cdn yeah close 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 you can check manually also for sensitive information but uh, today i am going to show for only automation whatever we can do with automation only so like after going with uh, this process yeah, it, it will analyze it okay so don't worry i think uh, it is not uh, collecting all the urls i think we have to open uh, I, i think we have to add uh, we have to capture the request and we have to add in scope okay you can add it okay so what it will do what is the like use of this uh, like what is the use of this after like uh, uh, adding into scope and run, running this scan okay extension js miner scan and secrets okay what it will do it will run all the the tool on this uh, all the js file and it will give sensitive information such as api keys uh, recently i think around one week back only i found uh, two api okay so uh, two google api issues google map api issue so we can't report directly if we got a google api so what you have to do first of all you have to go with this uh, google api key yeah this one go here and add your api key such as suppose this i got from js file and click here if it is vulnerable so it will show it currently this this api is not vulnerable so it is not showing if the if it is vulnerable then you can directly exploit it and report it i reported this issue and they rewarded me with around 75 dollars they are not like oh, they have not given uh, i am not able to give such more impact like getting some more information using this api okay you can check for this in js file only by using bob uh, extension i think it is not running because of this python issue yeah this was so you can configure it configure it in your system okay so for now we are moving with another uh, issue i will add this url in uh, document mm, secrets from js file using uh, rahul am i audible yeah yeah you are audible uh, rahul could you please go little, little bit slow for few beginners sorry ah. to interrupt you yeah yeah no problem thank you i hope everyone got this issue so what we are doing basically here we, we are going to collect all the js url from this uh, file okay interesting uh, dot js file okay and uh, we got some uh, like some uh, urls that are like live so what i have done i'm going to open on firefox and i'm going to open my bob suit and i'm going to like capture the request uh, so, suppose i will show it one minute um uh, yeah i will show this one suppose we are going to open on multi
just to capture the intercept uh, what is this mm. one minute let's see okay. it should not let's capture the huh, yeah we are getting right so i'm going to refresh it i'm going to capture the request okay I don't know. There is some issue with my web server. So what we are going to do? Just so capture the request, uh, right click and sorry. add. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Sorry, but you have to use my server. Sir, it will not be there. Should it run? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So like, uh, what you have to do? Capture the request and add add the scope, and you will get like uh, it will analyze all the JS file, and it will uh, like uh, give you output such as if there is an API, it will show here in target. Okay, any issues? So copy that API API key and use this website. If it shows only one only vulnerable, then only you can report it. Okay, then then only they will accept it. If you are reporting like blindly, they are going to like uh, uh, close the report and specify your information. Okay, so I am going to give this uh, website as well. The third issue is yeah. The third issue is getting sensitive information from uh, way back URL. So the the all your URLs are here, passive collect URLs. I am repeating once again the all URLs okay here in passive collect URLs in IPaper. Okay, you will get it once you run the tool, sudo me tool. Okay. So for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to like uh, grab it. I'm going to filter it. So I'm going to use such as redirect, okay? Redirect equals to uh, nothing. There is nothing. Okay. Let's use uh, logout. Nothing. You can use these keywords. API. KPI there parts only. So nothing. Token. Create token. Preview token. Yeah, nothing interested. Um, let's uh, go with add the red. Nothing. Nothing interesting. Okay. Let's go with the uh, user. Okay. Here you can see there is a some. Uh, uh, there is a some. Let's be check it one minute. I want to clarify one thing. There is a user info equals to. There is a user info equals to. Let's open a new tab. And. Uh, there is a one parameter called user info right ha uh, yahan par yeah we got this user info let's you open it here here you can see we got the one issue this is a live issue okay i am not reported this anyone who can who wants to report it you can report it okay this is a live issue here you can see we got the token from the wayback url and from that uh, we got the mobile number we got the email and we got the name so let's let's explore it more so what we are going to do uh the keyword sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, what was the issue again my connection got disconnected yeah no problem and so what we are going to do uh this is a all urls collected from wayback urls okay there is a tool wayback url that will capture all the live uh, urls that are active okay so by by like filtering all the urls so what i keyword keywords i used keywords i used here way back way back urls user 
API token uh, at the rate for getting emails uh, and uh, redirect yes and log out redirect equals to okay and log out equals to yeah log out equals to and uh, log out equals to yeah it's done there are a lot of other keywords token api user admin uh, user info and uh, there is one more thing that is important i think token you are done api done mm, number uh, uh, yeah for now we are going to use this i have one uh, checklist i will send it for this uh, keywords okay i don't remember now so for now like what we found from, from our account there is a one keyword that is that are leaking token of jwt through web url this is the issue and the issue is depends upon the urls so let's uh, i'm what i'm going to do here you can see i'm going to use user info graph yeah there are total how many urls wc hyphen l to count it here you can see 73 urls okay got it right so what we are going to do now let's uh, check for another copy and uh, how i identify okay if you know if if you have uh, like if you have done jwt testing uh, the token or jwt token it will always start with ey okay this is how i identify for now so you can also identify so i am going to open this token yeah this is the token and uh, we can use jwt.io to like encode or decode here you can see we got another mobile number we got another email so what is the impact if the company ask if the bug bounty program ask what is the impact yes this is a, this is only for 74 uh, uh, 73 users okay the impact here you can do red limits on this uh, email the impact here you can do call the main issue is here like they will accept it 99% the issue is because they are leaking phone number as well okay so this is a p1 issue you can report it yeah like if you want to do so this is a one issue and let's check more what we can do grab user think like a normal user okay what they will use first name right yeah nothing last name nothing address yeah we have to use address mm, no nothing At the rate we have done right. What we can collect more is um, redirect to logout. Hmm. Yeah. That's all for like uh, that's that's all for issue. You can check it. I will send all the keywords. And the POC is I have reported the same issue on the one company called Act Fiber Net. Okay. Okay. act fiber okay there is a bug bounty program act fiber i have reported this uh, issue with increasing impact okay so what is the issue same i have collected all the urls and i have uh, like uh, done the reconnaissance on the url and i found user information let's uh, just to summarize it's um, like you run this as a web back url and you grep searching the User yeah right. user details right but uh, you have to not use webback url you can use sudo me because it uses more than like one search in word more than one tool such as webback url katana and go and uh, there is a hawk crawler i think it is using four tools and it will filter it and it will like give you everything in plate to like find the bugs okay so you can use this tool so here you can see there is a one uh, report uh, i am sharing poc video so what is the impact here from urls i was able i was able to get exposed token user names amount history names email and feedback okay yeah yeah here you can see uh, i am opening all the urls in uh, like uh, multiple tabs 
to show here you can see i can show to the company they are leaking bill numbers as well not fully uh, name as well as account id here you can see there is a search input that is called as account id for act 500 it is important because they are going to uh, i whenever as i found this account id what i have done to increase impact i will show it after collecting all the information here you can see there is a account id as well feedback so what i have done i am using their chatbot chat bot to exploit it here you can see i i told him hey i need account id information can you describe your request information of account id please hold on while we connect to your live agent uh, however for authentication how you required uh, a mobile otp whenever i am sending whenever i am sending this one id it is going to send otp on uh, user's mobile number those uh, which whichever id like account it is okay suppose uh, this id is mine and i have uh, entered this id in chat box it is going to send otp on my mobile number so what what is the issue here first issue is i found this all ids email from the wayback url right uh, around uh, i think 4000 so what i have done i have uh, i entered uh, this uh, user id in chatbot system and they are sending otp to the uh, user to get the user information but there is a one issue here there is a no rate, no rate limit okay so what i have done i have captured the captured the uh, captured the request in bubsuit and i was able to send multiple like otps to the user got it right so they rewarded me with 15000 for this uh, bounty for this issue 10000 for wayback url for getting sensitive information and 5000 for rate limit okay i have combined all the report and reported it but for now like i have already explained what we have to do you have to like search for like as a normal like uh, tester what you can get the keywords first name last name address phone number uh, and the Uh, keywords as well there are uh, uh, i have one uh, checklist for the keywords i will share it token mobile number api etc okay awesome right yeah but this was awesome uh, like i was not not expected to get a live bug as soon uh, like within 15 minutes i think this is a really awesome okay let's uh, let's move on mm, yeah third issue third bug was yeah we back your url to mm, try to increase impact increase impact by using chatbot chatbot okay this is a third issue from you from using automation okay and there is a one more like you can do multiple things multiple bugs i will show one more way uh Rahul, uh, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. Uh, there was a question that uh, can you repeat how you found its URL? There was a question in the chat. Okay. Can you repeat? Yeah. Uh, listen, everyone. What you have to do? First of all, uh, you have to type sudo me. Okay. Or you can you can use other tools as well. You will find from there as well. What you have to do? Download this sudo me. Get clone. Install the process, and use this command. Okay. This is a command. Okay. When you run this command, what it will come to do after like completion of the process? Here you can see he created the tool created the output here with domain. What I have done, I I move to this directory or folder. Then I I am going to list. Okay. Here you can see this automation tool has already like separated all the files. Uh, IP uh, IP port IP resolver status light. Uh, status title yeah dns subdomain http probe ping sweep resolver takeover world list so what you have to do you have to like focus on this cat massive collect url it is it, it, it is nothing but com combination of wayback url and gaw okay and other tools so what you have to do just to cat and grab filter it user email Gmail dot com. Let's check Gmail dot com. Nothing. Just to uh, token. Especially token. You have to focus on token. Uh, 
JWT. Uh, uh, I think there is more information. Yeah. Here you can see every time I visit this domain, I got one more information. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, Rahul, one more thing. Uh, can you drop the command in the chat box? Yeah, I'm going to share the sheet. So don't worry, relax. Everyone, okay. like, focus on uh, uh, like uh, session. Okay. Uh, let's open this URL as well. I want from uh, one minute. Just copying, copy link. Y y two. Right to this one, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Q. Oh. Um, okay. There are some uh, like PDFs, okay, papers. I think we have to open this as well. It is missing, okay. So you can you can use all the keywords to get sensitive information, such as username, username, emails, phone numbers, Open redirect as well for op automation. What you can do? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to share this as well. So what you have to do after like collecting all the uh, after the tool has collected all the URLs in passive URLs dot text, right? So what you have to do first of all text this for getting sensitive information within URL. Okay, it might be encrypted such as here. In this case, it was JWT, right? So check carefully. Okay, then after that, you can uh, run for open redirect as well. Open redirect. So here, what you have to do, remove this and give the file name, whatever the file name, passive, passive urls.txt, okay. This is a one command. This is a one one more issue. You can test it. Just what you have to do. Uh, I will run it. I will show it one minute. Add. Just replace uh, file name. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have this tool. You can install it. Just copy and go here. Okay, yeah, this is the tool and uh, if they install it, okay. let's install. Okay. Copy this command, paste it, done. Now it, it is going to get, yeah, here you can see. Okay, okay. Okay, so what you have to do after running this command, just you have to click it. Okay, Here you can see this, just you have to click it, open the link, not found. If it redirects to redirect.com or target.com, then there is an open redirect. It didn't work, open this, didn't work, open this, open this, open this. Open this. Yeah, it's not working in this case, but it, it will work. Here you can see there is a one more thing. I think uh, it's showing uh, location. Let's open this. No, it's not working. So it is running. So you have to, you can run this command as well. Okay. I have already shared this command. I will share once again with the like, correct file name. So you can directly copy paste and run it. Mm, yeah. yeah, this is an open redirect. XSS, uh, um, it just we have to run it. Okay, we we I'm not telling that we will get a we we can get open redirect, but there is a lot of uh, like less chances to get XSS. 
but i'm still sharing my automation command one minute for xss uh, yeah here so rahul there was a question from gary so yeah. when we find jwt and uh, get users information it means it's a sensitive data exposure is that right uh, we can report as a depends if we get more than 100 users of details using like a, like jwt token we can report as a pi information disclosure pi pi disclosure Oh, okay. personal information okay. disclosure because it is disclosing phone number, email, right, and name as well. Yep, got it. Yeah. And this is a one more command to find accesses, uh, uh, but uh, there is a less less chance. One minute, I am sharing the file with full command. Just copy paste it in the sudo me file. Accesses. Okay, right. Perfect. Run as it is. There, there is a no error in command, so don't worry. Yeah. Before before running, you have to install this tool, Euro, and QS replace. Okay. And uh, freak. It will actually um, replace all the commands or payloads. Okay. This is one more issue. We are uh, f- the first issue is. Uh, user information, right? Sensitive info. This is the first issue we got from, like, uh, by using Wayback URL method. Okay. And the second is X- open redirect, and third is accesses. And fourth one. This is a m- more much interesting, but we are not. I think most of the hunters they are not focusing on this. Uh, the issue is phone not to bypass. so if we if we want to run phone notary bypass what it what we will do we will use this tool there there are lot of tools but uh, i am going to use uh, this one uh, not this one phone notary bypass sir. yeah uh, no not this one yeah suppose we uh, we will consider this one okay what we are going to do uh, not like uh, as a like a daily bug bounty hunter we are, we are going to copy it we are going to clone it and we are going to run the command right on whatever domain okay to get uh, the bypasses right but uh, i will run it i will run side by side whenever i test it i will run this tool on side by side in terminal okay if it is if it is not working so what i have done i am going to use wayback url for bypassing phone dot 3 okay how i will explain not three bypass so like uh, suppose uh, i'm i'm not using any terminal currently i'm explaining suppose uh, this is a website this is a endpoint okay suppose uh, this is the endpoint so when you visited this uh, uh, like a uh, url you got what status phone not three what you have to, what you have done You have run a phone not three tool to bypass. Yeah, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. So what you have to do? Just to copy this uh, domain. Okay. Copy this domain and uh, filter it. Suppose in this case, in this case. Here you can see in i paper we have already the passive file right the URL file. So suppose I want to I want to check for domain called yeah. Suppose we assume the domain is mm-hmm. cd dot uh, this one okay cd dot this one cat passive uh, grab yeah. And uh, there are lot of URLs. Okay, here you can see we got uh, all the URLs. So what it what it is going to do? It is going to filter it right the phone not three URL. Okay, 
so sometimes the path the internal path such as the db.txt is not accessible okay but we can get the information we, we can get internal path using web url such as db.txt uh, user amount this path is leaked via web url and when we open this url we got 200 okay what it means this path is forbidden by accessing but we got this path from way back url this uh, end point one more end point just you have to grab, just you have to filter it with uh, using this domain i hope everyone got it right it is simple only uh, okay and i got this this uh, end point i have and i have added this end point to this end point and i got 200 okay we have done phone not three bypass and we can report it so the same case the same case i have reported on upstock right and they reported me with 15000 15000 okay here you can see there is a one file there is a one domain service dot upstock margin calculator open okay so the issue is here you can see there is a five files file upload dot php instrument dot php rotate dot js setting dot php span dot php here you can see so when i open this product dot js it is accessible so there is a no impact yeah when i open this file upload it is forbidden okay so we can try to bypass it when i open this setting dot php it is forbidden okay when i open this span dot php it is forbidden so what i have done same way back url what i have done i have collected all the urls just use grab command to like uh, for domain php all php file here you can see in fifth last last second the service dot service dot upstock dot com margin calculator open php span dot php and there is a signature okay question mark signature and the time stamp and the action okay it it has been leaked via it has been disclosed via way back url so what i have done i have copied this part whole path when i open this path you can see it has done i i was able to bypass it because of like the signature disclose and the path disclose okay so i am changing the amount like uh, i am changing product one uh, which wait it show total right i i change to show amount so it is showing total amount required but it is like uh, there is some other end point we have to get it so i have reported this issue and they rewarded me as a 15000 bounty just for like bypassing not getting information as well just for bypassing i hope everyone got it right uh round can you repeat it again uh okay uh uh let's check for domains suppose uh, let's check for cat HTTP X status yeah the domain here you can see there are three domains that is CDN file CDN this is a this is to store file okay uh, okay so what I have done copy okay I open this I will open this endpoint on this uh, my system. Okay. Uh, in up upstock case, it shows me like uh, it shows me some file, but there is a forbidden. There is a one file. Suppose Rahul dot no, Rahul. Mm, let's suppose details or user info. Okay. This endpoint was showing me phone not three. This is example. Okay. Shows me phone not. Clear, right? Okay. Here you are clear everything. So what I have done, I will copy this domain. Okay. So I will go back to my web back URL. It means passive collect URL full, and I will use grab command. Grab is very like helpful, and I will do, like collect all the URLs. Here you can see. Uh, and here there are lot of paths that are disclosing, but we can't report it because it is a like bucket to store the images. So there is a no impact. 
so from this path suppose i got i got user info uh, at the red signature uh, at the red token equals xss so i got this path from way back then what i have done i have opened this path and i got 200 and i got some information so what does it mean this endpoint was uh, phone not 3 right but we are able to bypass and get the information by using like uh, direct fi file path access using web url so i have reported it and i got a bond this is known as phone not 3 bypass i will show once again the poc check carefully okay so, okay this is a domain listen carefully this is a domain service.upstock.com margin calculator open in this domain there are five files here you can see file.php this is accessible product.js accessible but it is jummy but when i click on file upload it is what it is it is blocked for not three forbidden when i click on settings.php it is forbidden okay when i click on span.php forbidden so what i have done we can use domain or we can use path okay so it was php you can directly add domain as well i have given dot php i want to get it so here you can see the same domain in wayback url it is listing service.upstock.com margin calculator open slash span dot php and there is a signature file here you can see it is disclosing via wayback url because their internal team when they visited the wayback url captured the request or captured the url and exported to wayback url tool or web archive okay so we got this uh, url from wayback url direct path so due to the direct path we we are able to bypass it when i open it here you can see i was able to open you can see the url span.php but in left side it it was for for not the right it was blocked it was blocked so i am changing some keywords to get it for, for file file.php as well i have added the signature signature yeah for settings i think it it works i think yeah uh, but there is nothing so i was able to bypass it i uh, i reported this issue to upstore got it right every everyone you have to check the path to get the phone not 3 bypass i guess that's a very nice trick rahul uh, yeah. just wanted to will this work uh, even the website is behind the cloud fair firewall yeah it it will work because uh, sometimes in webai query they will in, in in our case only here you can see in this case only it is disclosing signature key right Here you can see it is disclosing signature key. So uh, internal companies will like uh, uh, authorize to the person on based on keys or tokens, right? So there is a no issue of firewall also or cloud fair. Okay, this is a one phone not three bypass. We have to run that uh, tool as well, so don't worry. You have to run automation other tool, but you have to check for Wayback URL as well. I found on these two website. One is Upstock, and there is one another domain. Uh, I think AG Cap. I think yeah, but I don't have don't have that POC because I submitted on form. Okay, for not three bypass via Wayback URL. Okay. I'm adding only by by. Uh, okay. By accessing, accessing using direct path or tokens. This is a uh, one more issue. Way back you are in. Okay, one minute. Yeah. We have done with uh, XSS. We have done with uh, Open Redirect, and we have done with Phone Not Three Bypass. We have done with uh, Broken Link Hijacking, right? And uh, there is another thing. So what you have to do? Uh, LS. Okay, let's move on. 
LS listed and there is a one file here ip underscore db db port just to cat it matlab learn karna hai okay list karna hai uh, port yeah here you can see it shows this ip have 80443 and there are certain ports that are open okay and there are certain ports that are open okay and there are certain ports that are open so what you are, what you are going to do Uh, and there is a one more file i think uh, sub resolver ips can resolver ips uh, sub domain resolver cat sub domain cat sub resolver okay like this i want only ip dnx uh, One minute. I am just checking. IP ASL number. I don't need IP resolver. Yeah. Yeah. Here you can see there is a one file. So what we are going to do? There is a one command. I will share this command. Yeah. Na Nabu. Okay. We share it. So what we are going to do? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. FTP. Port. Okay, so what you have to just have to run this uh, command and the uh, with the endpoints at this one I think and we we'll, we'll give the ports one minute. One minute. I'm preparing command. So just a few seconds. So what you have to do? Um, then we move paste. Yeah. So here there are certain ports. These are sensitive ports. Okay. So we can add one more port. That is comma twenty one. Okay, comma twenty two. Twenty-one port, twenty-two port. Mm, let's remove this. So eighty. This is useless. Useless port, I think. Yeah, twenty-one, twenty-two, two seven zero five, and there are other ports. Okay, what you have to do? Uh, yeah. Mm, you do see what is okay. What you have to do? Just copy this, copy this command, and uh, what is our file name? IP resolver, right? So I'm going to paste it, and after entering ports, you have to give the file name. IP resolver. This file is nothing but the domains, okay? The live domains, their IPs, okay? And it converted the domains to IPs, okay? This this is a list, okay? So just give the IP resolver, and uh, Nabu K hyphen Nabu help. So what is the uh, in K list? Okay. So it is one minute. Yeah. Hmm. फाइल नेम यू हैव टू गिव IL switch or something. I think so. Yes. Let's close. Let's clear it. IL 
this one and iphone p it's not working well yeah it's working yeah it's working you know it's working so this is a command okay what it will do so what is the impact what we are trying to achieve the like uh, scenario is we are going to run this command on the all ips that we gathered okay on ip resolver.txt so it will like uh, list all the uh, there is some issue with command only i will i will reshare it okay i will update the sheet so what is the impact here is what you have to do whenever we see okay specially whenever we see 21 port okay 21 port so you have to scan with uh, like uh, for 21 port try for anonymous login okay open port check for other ports as well check other ports special ports i will mention it special ports are 21 uh, 3806 i think and 3306 yeah sql so what you have to do for 21 Check for check for anonymous login. I I know I like I hope everyone know. FTP anonymous. I have to ask Tingy about anonymous login. Yeah, this is a. What is the issue here is if there is a FTP open port, check for uh, uh, check for triangle login and an anonymous login. Okay. How you can do it? So the command is I will share it. Okay. Yeah. For anonymous login command FTP IP and then give username and password as anonymous. Then you will like get the access of FTP pool. I have reported on this zero copter, but it was already duplicate. Okay, I am not. Uh, Uh, i didn't get on bounty on this vulnerability but i like got some points okay on a hacker one as well it was duplicate already a bounty one generally does not keep uh, uh this in coops will be able to check the such issues i didn't get your question bug bounty program generally does not keep such network up. yeah uh yeah they are they are not going to keep it but there is another way I got it. What your question is? So I will explain it one minute. First of all, run on like all the subdomains, subdomain IP, by using this command. Okay, and check for if there is an open port twenty one three eight three eight zero six three three zero three three zero six. Check for exploits for this. Hello. Yeah. Uh, can we get this document for practice purpose? Yeah, yeah. After session, I will share in group. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, yes. one more thing. Uh, If you have any queries, please post it in the chat box. Rahul, you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Rahul, uh, I got your question actually, so don't worry. Uh, I will explain how we can increase the impact and how we can get the IP. Okay, of that domain. And the next bug, I will explain it. So blindly test this. Mm, the another, the another interesting issue. I have created a blog as well. Uh, i got uh, i think around three bounties on this uh, every month i think in uh, in august uh, yeah recent uh, uh, in recent month as well yeah on this bond on this rahul your question your question is going to be answered now so what you have to do use uncover so uncover tool okay. uncover tool benefits what is a like uh, the benefits is bugs you can the bugs by getting what is the bugs you can find here the bugs here is by using this tool if you like think logically first is origin ip leads to cloudflare bypass cloudflare bypass Second is, it traces. 
this is a small issue i think someone is reporting in this in our group i think afternoon and uh, some other vulnerabilities as well some other bugs as well by using by using nuclei okay and uh, yeah brute force there is one more issue i think we i got yeah sensitive information so how how we can like get all these bugs okay when when i use this tool when like when someone other when someone use other this tool they will focus on like i have seen they will focus on like running nuclei the uh, and uh, like uh, reporting this uh, origin ip okay origin ip also they will find using shodown i think I, i think they will not use uncovered tool but it will it is a good how you can download or install it just to open github repo okay scroll down go get and before like uh, proceeding further you have to export the keys so this uncover tool it is going to use the services called shodown sensors fofa hunter zoomai criminal ip public ww add the ip keys okay add the ip keys using this you you can neglect this process just install the tool just to go get it then after that use this export shodown api equals to api key then hit enter it will export it automatically then run the command the command is i will share it Yeah. The command is yes yeah. this one this is the command so what what it is going to do it will connect all the ips that belongs to the target.com using sensors shodown fofa and other tools as well there are criminal ip right and it it is going to run httpx on that because it will like grab all the live live ips okay and it will show in ips.txt suppose if i run on this domain so we were testing on ipper dot i right suppose i will run on this domain ipper dot io uncover tool is not found okay i i installed in this my vpn i think one minute giving sensors extra only ip showed on the command was right i think the session is going to be take long so like if uh, if you have any work you can leave it right i paper or try Mm, let's exit on here uh, i think there is some issue with my tool like it is simple just install it so don't need to worry so what what is the impact so uh, what we are going to do for origin ip what you have to do suppose there is a domain ipaper.io this is a domain okay one minute if i get uh, I will check it. I will try to explain with practical. Just give me some time. 
I paper paper key. I paper dot I. Photo agents, but keys not found. What? What? One minute. I am closing my screen because I saved my keys on WhatsApp. So I'm opening my WhatsApp one minute. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, now it's run. Got it. Screen is visible, right? I think API key showed on. No, no. Uh, my like keys was uh, removed. I think I was working on VPS to install some automation. Due to that, some config file is been erased. Okay, so this is a command I have already shared on dog. So just hit enter. So it will run or run or uncover tool on this domain, and it will give the IP. One minute. Yeah. So the next step. So before that, go to the Chrome. We were checking for this, right? So here, ipaper dot io, the first bug. Origin IP, ipaper.io, it has Cloudflare, I think. Yeah, CDN, Google hosted libraries, and uh, yeah, they are using this CDN for like uh, Cloudflare. So we got all the IPs right. So the next step is we got the IPs. So the next step is. Sorry, Rahul, can you? Uh, just uh, explain one more time how we got this Cloudflare origin IP. No, no, uh, uh, I didn't got any bug now. I'm explaining what we are, what I've done. I just run this command, okay, this uncover command, and I got IP related to internal IPs, external IPs related to SSL called target.com or ipaper.io. Okay, so uh, like I got this IPs here, you can see. These IPs are belongs to iPaper company. Okay, from internally or from externally or from any network. Okay. So the first step is, so what we are going to do, uh, let's uh, cat it, let's run cat command and run nuclei. Nuclei. IPND, root tools, nuclei, templates. Yeah. Yeah, it will it will run uh, all the nuclear templates and it is going to like give information. Suppose uh, there is one issue. I think matrices. Someone was uh, like uh, got one endpoint such as such as uh, HTTPS i paper dot io and matrices. This is a P4, P4 issue. Okay. So if uh, when we run nuclei on this uh, IPs, it is going to give all the like uh, all the services, all the bugs uh, we got from the by using the templates. Okay. So here you can see it is running. Uh, the probability of getting bugs from this IP is seventy uh, percent out of hundred. If we run on the Domains, the percent, the probability of getting bugs from nuclei is 30% out of 100. The difference you can see, right? 70%. It means there will be at least one IP that contain bugs. Okay. Um, okay, got it right. So just to run this, run this. This is a uh, another issue. Okay. Run this. One minute. Yes. It is running side by side. Okay, automation means uh, everything is everything is working side by side. But 
let's focus on another ip so what i am going to do origin ip okay this is the one issue i am explaining now status code status code yeah title i need title as well yeah, that's all i think yeah so let's forgot about phone not 4 i want only 200 use grab command like i mostly use uh, it will help in like getting it will helps in saving time to get more bugs so i am using grab command here you can see i paper it means what it what it means it it belongs to this uh, domain here you can see it, it is showing here nothing i this i paper domain does not change click here Okay. So what what you have to focus origin IP? What it means? So you have to get a, one particular IP. You have to find one particular IP that contains same copy of this, and it belongs to IPaper. Same copy of this. It should be have a login button. It should have start start trial. It should have learn. It should have product. It should have insight. Okay. You have to focus on on this uh, uh, like same template. Okay, but here we got nothing from this one IP, and there is a one one more IP. There is one portal, I think. Here you can see, we can get. Uh, this is not belongs to IPaper. Here you can see, it's showing different domain, so they will not accept it. So just to, like it is distracting us, so we will not focus. Uh, let's focus on this. Nothing. Let's focus on this. Nothing. No, no, no. There is something. Uh, it is also not belongs to IPaper. Okay. How to verify the IP belongs to uh, this domain? When you open this IP, you click on like advance. They will show here certificates. You can give the proof to the company as well. Yeah, this IP belongs to this uh, domain. So there is a origin IP that leads to web bypass. So what you have to focus, I am explaining now. Origin IP. Suppose you got IP, this IP, okay, this IP, and you got same same template, okay, same this uh, web on this also. It means this is the origin IP of this uh, domain. And to to like verify it, to exploit it, what you have to do? Click on Webalizer. And check check for the difference between this and this. Okay, okay here here you can see in this uh, domain ipaper dot com dot io. When you scroll it, it will show all the technologies right, and it is showing CDN. Okay, but when you when you use this when you open this IP and when you analyze it, it will show everything, but it will not show this CDN. It will show all of this, but it will not show this. Okay, what does it what does it mean? This is an issue known as origin IP. This IP, origin IP leads to WAF or CloudFare bypass. We are able to bypass it, and like we can do a further exploit, but we have to not like we can directly report it. We will get a like good amount of bounty by reporting it. Okay, for verification and for POC, just you have to capture this one screenshot. And second screenshot of difference between this webalizer. Here you can see there is all the technologies and there is a CDN as well. In and there will be all technologies, but there will be no CDN. Okay, I hope everyone got it. Right. If you got it, can you type in chat so I can proceed with further like uh, other bugs. Hmm. For my paper. Like uh, yes, quite clear. Quite clear, right? There is some interesting endpoint as well. Let's let's know. Let's check whether this IP is belongs to this uh, IP paper or not. Uh, no, it is it is not belongs to the IP paper. Okay, just to run that nuclear as well. The bugs you can directly get it, right? I don't need to explain. What the nuclear? Okay. We have done with this. We have done with matrices. 
I've already explained. It will expose in nuclei only, and some other bugs using nuclei. Brute force. Use this command. I have one command. This one. Or use this. Uh, uh, use uh, this one only. This is the best. I got the result from this. Brute force. Yeah, install the directory search uh, from GitHub. Give the extension. Don't forget to this, give the extension. I have already explained. I have already added. I have already added all the extensions. And there is a like a, this is a tool HTTPX. The file name. Okay, sorry, file name. Yes. Do you can search. Or IP URL HTTP IP okay 127.0.0.1 you got from uh, and this link okay. and uh, just remove this okay yeah, just remove this share this one yeah yeah I will share it and add the domain as Just to use this, okay. Okay, this use this command. It will run all the like uh, file, and it will go only give the like files uh, from brute force with extension of this. This is a sens sensitive files. Okay, we can report it. Okay, so the POC for this is I will show it. Here you can see, here you can see when I run uncover tool. What I've done, I have followed this process. I have run this command. Okay, I have run this command, and I got the IPs. I open one by one IP, and I brute force as well. I use this brute force command, and I got I got this endpoint. Maybe yeah. Here you can see there is an endpoint. There is an endpoint called password control control, and there is an IP. When I when I open this path, I got not it. visible. Yeah, it is not visible because I. Like I, I blurred it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Uh, etc slash password. Etc. Uh, I will explain. One minute. Yes. I. I got all the etc slash, uh, password, hash password. If you want to know about this more bug, like if you want to know about in detail, you can just visit my blog. Uh, yeah. This is a blog. Here you can see. I got the path. I run on this command. I open the path. I got the path. I click on that path, and I got uh, all etc slash password control file that leads to sensitive information disclosure. So for verifying the IP belongs to the do the domain, I use the Firefox, and here you can see it shows the domain on up only, or you can use Chrome. When you open the IP, click on advance. It will show the SSL certificates, right? So just report it. I reported and is I I awarded with around three hundred dollars. Okay. So this is a interesting. It will work. You have to run on every domain whenever you are testing because internal IPs disclose much more information than domains. Okay. This this we have done, right? We have done with this this uh, tool as well, and the last the last and least is GitHub GitHub recon. Okay. I think we are going to complete at forty five. So the last one is GitHub recon. I am bad with the GitHub recon, but I found one issue and I reported and. I got a bounty as well, but I'm uh, like I've not done consistently. But you can do it, okay? Because uh, there is an automation for this uh, process, an interesting one. So what you have to do? Uh, I think uh, I have a checklist as you say, seven so I have to go. Dot com. Uh, the bounty. Mm. 
Yeah. This is our dogs. This is the latest one, okay? The GitHub dogs. Just to follow these dogs. Yeah. Wait, show it. One minute. Uh, keywords. And the tool we are going to use is this one open this tool open this url okay open this url there are a lot of automation tools tool as well i think uh, there is one truffle hog you can use that uh, but i am not using that because uh, like uh, i don't think it will like get much sensitive so i'm using this uh, open this url copy this path or my list it is my keywords okay click on get keywords add domain suppose i am adding i paper dot io generate link here you can see we got all the links generated so we, we we don't have to type it on github open the link nothing so for now let's let's test on uh Let's test on Yatra dot com. Yeah. Generating, yeah, it's generated. Open now. Uh, yeah, it's generating. Nothing. Open strings. One minute. Mm. Let's open access AWS secret key. Anything? Can I watch OTP? Yeah. So like here you can see it is like some some not fully automation, but there is some automation we are using with this effect. It generated all the keywords. It generated all the links as well. So suppose I am focusing on this JDBC. This is a main good keyword and uh, let's scroll down it and this uh, event repo right so we have to check for every repo okay and check for the sensitive information so let's go with the uh, let's go with this uh, access token nothing uh, let's go with uh, api debug nothing let's go with app secret nothing so you can use this automation i have not done fully but uh, i'm not good at data break on you can but you can right everyone has their own skills so you can try to do like if you find the way and this this is a updated list like i have updated uh, i think around one week only so you can use these keywords this is a one and the last one is uh, this one web analyze web analyze wordpress angular is angular is okay the process in this case i will show it cd stop tools sudo me here here there is one file okay called webanalyze.txt cat it listed here you can see what it is going this tool is going to run technologies what technologies they are using on particular domain so so what you have to focus the mostly focus on you have to focus on angular js you should type angular ang okay first grab angular 
nothing wordpress okay you have to focus on these keywords on these two keywords for now it is like uh, this uh, domains are not using any wordpress or angular js so um, but most of most of the website use wordpress i think on testing only you, you have seen in bug bounty so what you have to do uh, for angular js angular js suppose if you got there is a one domain that is using angular js okay so what you have to do test for xsti okay test for at sshti uh, one minute yeah test for sshti there is a vulnerability at server side uh, uh, template injection yeah. there is a one payload as well one minute i will i will share it uh on bug bounty i didn't find any vulnerability on this ssta payload but professionally when i work as professionally on like internal projects okay i found this issue because when i see uh, when i receive one project and the company is using angular js first of all i, I will go with ssta because angular js use the templates right so there is a uh, lot of chances to get the ssta okay so you can insert the payloads i basically use a payload called like there is a one payload for 77 i think yeah here you can use this yeah this one this is a link i didn't find on any bug bounty program yet but i found around four to five projects internally as, as a working as a cyber security analyst on internal companies okay so you can you can test it okay and for wordpress whenever you got to know about the wordpress what what you can do uh, you can go with matrix this is a good okay just to check for this file check for this path check for this uh, and check for this config file check for this uh, wp hyphen include i think everyone know about the like word of this one level details i think right so i don't need to explain it you can check for this and you can run for command as well there's a one command as well for wp scan mm, wp scan command. you have to give with api token okay don't neglect the api token how you can get the api token just to type wordpress and open the first website uh, no, no not wordpress wp scan wp scan yeah this one go sign up and you will get the api key you have to run the wp scan with api key only then only you will able to find the some good vulnerabilities okay and this is the target dot target.com yeah so that's all for today i think this uh that's all for today what to rahul uh, if you don't mind can you explain the first two points uh, actually i was uh, having some issue connecting with my network So yeah the uh, check check for broken link hijacking on pdf files yeah the first issue is like uh, uh, when we when we run this tool right or any other tool way back you are along this sudo me tool okay when we go with when we like cat it when we list all the urls one minute i am listing all just to grab it use grab command use dot dot pdf Here you can see there are a lot of PDFs, right? Here you can see there is one more PDF. When I open this PDF, most of the hunters or most of the testers forgot to test to check for broken link hijacking in this PDF. Suppose there is one PDF. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
yeah this there is a there is this is a pdf when you scroll it there will at last or at first there will be a like uh, the com- company promotion such as uh, linkedin twitter instagram and link so they forgot to update in the pdfs okay the link the social media link so we got i got one broken link hijacking from uh, pdf only i reported internally i didn't got on bounty program i got in my company like on one project so i have reported it so i am trying for a bug bounty program as well we will get it because it is like less crowded okay you can test for like finding a links got it right yeah broken link hijacking in pdf files yeah. not in domains domains I mean, any social to... media well like linkedin Facebook. yeah any show yeah linkedin twitter instagram i have seen there are lot of other pdfs that they are like second one is secret from js file what i have done same same just to get that grab dot js here you can see i got this js file okay all the there are some not js file cat js files right uh, this are all js files you use any tool saving this uh, js files or you just copy paste it so somewhere no no yeah i have told you we are using from beginning this tool only it will do all thing J- saving js file like separating all the files separating js file in different file everything yes, yes. once you uh, what you what if you do after the session install the tool and just uh, like uh, uh, like roam like explore the tool run the command yeah, check yeah, I mean, what is the what are the files everything okay yes sir thank you thank you it's very useful actually. hey rahul i have one question regarding yeah. that so can you tell that uh, how we can try uh, use uh, feedback url for sensitive information uh, for finding right how, how we can find yes, you are yes. asking that so what you have to do uh, currently i am using this tool okay you can use any web app url tool also right so after collecting all the url suppose you have saved all the urls here cat message here okay this 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 are all url so what you have to focus on you have to focus on the keywords i will add one more keyword token especially this token uh api api check 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 it this are all parts this is some interesting check open it display not available here you can see there are a lot of things refer refer you can try here for uh, open redirect okay and uh, scroll up scroll up Okay. These are some files. Okay, nothing interesting. But uh, check for the keywords: API, token, email, at the rate. Okay. Okay. So that I will show. So I am mu mu dot ac dot ac dot uk. I am saving all URLs dot txt. Let's wait. let's wait till it comes is there any like uh, clarification you need any any of the issue like i have explained 1 no, 2 you 3 you told that in in pdf 5 6 7 no it's it, it was m m u actually is double m no no it's double m okay Not double m m m u yeah bro you are telling about some pdf Yeah, you told that broken link hijacking in PDF. So exposing PDFs comes under Webpack because I joined just now. 
Yeah, uh, what you have to do after running WebAQL, you have to filter all the PDF files. Okay. okay. Then you have to check, uh, open all the PDF one, one, one by one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now most of the companies they they are promoting themselves in PDF, like giving social media link, right? Okay. LinkedIn, Twitter, and you have to check that uh, broken link hijacking on that social media links. Okay. So we see Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. So what is this PDF, bro? Uh. Um, I'm not getting what you're trying to tell. Can you show any Hello? example? Bro? Do you have an example? Uh, let's let's. I will show one minute. Mm. Yeah, we have done it. I got all this URL. Yeah, let's go with this. I've collected all this URL. I will grab dot PDF extension. Okay. You can see there are a lot of PDFs okay. from this uh, domain. I I am opening this PDF. At last, uh, or at uh, like starting, they are like giving they are giving social media links here down. Okay. Like when you click on Twitter, it, if it shows for not for, then there is a broken link. Hijacking. Okay. Got it right. If you know about broken link hijacking, then you will get uh, quickly about this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, most of the hunters they are not focusing on PDFs. They are searching for broken link hijacking on domains. Okay. Got it. Okay. And uh, yeah. Rahul, I think we lost uh, somewhere for that uh, juicy information in .js file. That secret uh, JS. So I think uh, a secret is you are trying to tell. Uh, yeah. 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 Suppose I got. To, it, I guess. Yeah. Suppose I got this. Uh, I have collected all the URLs and I am grabbing all the JS file. Okay. Now I will open this JS file in. Uh, so what to look for here? Actually, I will explain. I will explain you. Yeah. Use. Uh, Open multiple URL extension to open at one click. Okay, I don't have uh, bug suit. Okay, I have. I think. Have. So what you have to do? First of all, pro- open proxy. Okay. Capture the request. Suppose I am reloading it. There are already a lot of requests. I think. Yeah. What you have to do just to capture the web, capture the request and uh, add this to out uh, in scope. Suppose uh, I will copy the URL. Okay. I will copy the URL and I will add in scope. Okay, I'm adding in scope and. Uh, here you can see if I like uh, filter it, there is a domain right. So when uh, when we are opening all the URLs, suppose I will open multiple URLs. One minute, yeah. I will open this all as well. Open because it is showing phone not for here. There is nothing here. Nothing, nothing. Uh, there is some. Thing here, just close, close it, okay? Because your Bobsuit is capturing all the links, but uh, in my case, I think Bobsuit is uh, like it is running by locally. So what you have to do when you sc- uh, when you explore it, the all URLs will be captured you are here. Capturing only student hub subdomain. Uh, you, you can uh, put MMU capture. Yeah, there is one. Yeah, got it. What you are trying to tell? I will copy here. I will go to my scope, scope item, advanced scope. What is the domain? Uh, this one, right? I think. So, what is a what is this regex? This is a regex for it will. Uh, uh, it will add in scope all the subdomains as well. Uh, 
suppose 100 mm you write so if, if this regex is not working try this there is one more regex add okay. uk and m i think ac yeah yeah here you can see it got all this yeah here you can see in firefox and just surf it okay just surf it okay and uh, what was this plugin name for open multiple urls uh, this is extension i will share it open multiple url extension Bro, it's already shared in Google Meet chat. Okay, it's done, right? I think. Okay. So suppose here you can see when I die, when I explore domain, uh, my like uh, extension like catch this, and here you can see there is a one API leaking. Here you can see in like in the right side, this is bug snack API key. And there is one more API key, client token, client token. It is not impactful. Client empty. Check for other domain. Nothing. There is a one more here. Uh, nothing. It is not uh, like uh, beneficial. But there is something here. What you have to do? There is a bug snag API key. So what you have to do? There, it is not Google API key, right? So what you have to do? Just uh, mmu.ac.uk document. Documentation. Like uh, they don't have documentation. So what you have to do if there is any website have documentation, just you have to type uh, open that documentation and you have to search this keyword. Bug snack, right? So just to find bug snack. So we, so you will learn about that API key. What is the use of that API key from this, from their documentation? And you can exploit it and you can report it. Got it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right. So before, like, yeah, this is a quick vulnerability. You can report it, but you have to maintain, like, you have to add the extension called JS JS Miner and JS Link Finder. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all for today. So, how can you send this uh, documentation in group? Yeah, I will send as soon as I will leave yeah, the meeting. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, one more thing. Uh, thanks a lot for joining the session. Uh, yeah, it was amazing session, uh, Rahul. Yeah. Like, I haven't seen this much grace from the audience. Like, we have been hosting this long, right? This is the damn session. And it was two hours long and uh, like, I am thrilled guys, actually. Like I haven't seen the kind of energy you have brought to the table. So yeah, I would thanks, like to, thanks. Uh, yeah, I would like to thank all the uh, Thank you, Rahul. Actually, the, this is the first time I'm seeing so some Bug Bunty Hunter sharing his, and not only knowledge, the experience along with the knowledge. Yeah, there is a one more thing I want to share to all of you. Like, uh, this is, a, I think, last year. Uh, I think this is a last year. There is a scope for bug bounty hunting. But if, as a professional, if you don't have any experience on bug bounty hunting, so you have to not focus only on BAPT. You have to focus on SOC. You have to focus on JDPR. You have to focus on JRC. Because company currently, they are not hiring for BAPT testers. They are hiring for a cyber security analyst, security analyst with having experience of VAPT, with having experience of SOC or JDPR or having experience of designing and implementing security like uh, 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 on websites or their projects. Okay. So from like uh, after some time, I'm going to take uh, some classes on JDPR and uh, SOC as well because uh, I've learned a lot of things uh, on SOC. So I will share uh, with you. So don't worry about that. But uh, try to try to learn yourself as, as well. Because uh, if you have uh, some more knowledge, 
when i explain you will learn and get quickly that's why i'm telling yes i have been attending classes for almost uh, top hackers from india and like most of them are very fantastic in their knowledge okay but the when it comes to experience you are sharing the experience along with the knowledge thank yeah. you very much for that uh, yeah guys uh, thanks a lot we will be winding it up yeah guys all the documents and everything we will uh, share in the group and a humble request that i have shared the linkedin linkedin post do follow rahul and share your reviews in our community uh, post like see guys uh, those things motivate us to hold this kind of session and i would like to uh, ask you if you know anyone or if you are among those people who want to take session for the community you are welcome we can host you guys and uh, please drop uh, all your valuable feedback uh here i will be sharing the post uh and also follow him uh, like let me drop uh, rahul's account here please follow him and reach out to him and share a uh, feedback ask question like it was really amazing guys i haven't seen uh, the kind of craze you guys have but the kind of energy you have brought to the table right uh, rahul uh, i think we will be ending the session uh shiva are you there uh, please uh, end the session from your side so that uh, guys thank you for uh, attending this session arif arif ha huh. arif kuch bacha hai arif uh, tell them about uh, 30 days uh, of bond challenge अवेलेबल नहीं आ रही थी Or if you want feel if you want learn uh, API pen testing, so any resources freely available or something else. API testing, I can like I have experience in API, mobile, web, network, desktop application. So I can share like uh, one by one because uh, I have uh, I have tested on Android as well, network as well, desktop application as well. So don't worry, I will take uh, classes, uh, free sessions, not any paid. So don't worry. What is the course you enrolled for W three? क्या? What is the course you said like you enrolled? Course uh, like uh, I am I am enrolled for Vimal Daga course. There is a one course for Web three, like for learning Web three, not pen testing. It is for development. But I am going to like uh, learn as first. I will learn development, then uh, I will test as a security. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for it. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. Great session. Thanks. Thanks.